Hey, it's Kristen from Six Sister Stuff. Today I'm sharing with you six recipes everyone should be making with their air fryer. So we all know that summer is hot and no one likes to turn on their oven. That is where the air fryer comes in very handy. So I'm showing you six easy things to make that you might not have known you could make in your air fryer. And the best part is they're super simple and you don't have to turn on the oven. Now if you want more recipes such as air fryer or instant pot or just any simple recipe, make sure you subscribe and push that bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. All right guys, let's just jump right in. The first thing I'm making is bacon. Now I love making in the air fryer because you don't get the stinky, greasy bacon smell that stays in your house forever and clean up is a breeze. Go ahead and preheat the oven to 400 degrees. Okay, once it's all preheated, go ahead and open it up and you can put in your bacon. So we're just gonna spread them out. I did cut these in half, they used to be a lot bigger just to make my life a little bit easier so we can put in as many as we can. Then we're just gonna close it up and cook it. Okay, so we're gonna push the bacon button. It's gonna go for eight minutes. Go ahead and push start. Okay, so we're about halfway through. Oh, it's looking good. I, I personally don't think we need to flip it. We're gonna let it finish cooking because I like it crispy. Okay, our eight minutes is up. Let's see how it looks. Oh, that looks great. All right, bacon taste test. I love bacon. Oh, it is good. And the cleanup was so easy. I'm a fan, huge fan of this. The next recipe is grilled cheese. Now, I usually burn my grilled cheese because I don't pay attention and flip it over and one side's usually black and the other is brown. This one, you can just pop it in. You don't have to worry and it cooks perfectly. So for this recipe, I'm using sourdough bread, a little bit of butter that I've melted and some American cheese. All right, the first thing I'm gonna do is butter one side of my bread. Then I like to add a few pieces of cheese because we like our grilled cheese nice and cheesy. Okay, then we're just gonna flip on the tops and butter the tops. Then I'm gonna use the air fryer lid today for this one. You can use your normal air fryer too. And we're just gonna put the sandwiches right in. Go ahead and just put this right into your Instant Pot. Then go ahead and put on your air fryer lid. Okay, so we're gonna air fry at 360 degrees for just three minutes. All right, this is all done. Let's take a look at it. Okay, so one side is cooked. So we're just gonna pull this out real quick so we can flip them. I'm just gonna use some tongs to get in there. Oh, nice. Oh, it's starting to get nice and cheesy. So we're just gonna cook these a little bit longer, like three to five minutes. We'll check it in three. All right, this should be done. Let's pull it up and look at it. Oh yeah, it is, it is looking good. All right, let's just pull these out. It looks so good. <laughs> that is a good grilled cheese. All right, time for the grilled cheese, you guys. Really? I'm excited. Here we go. Mm. With the sourdough, I highly recommend it. The next recipe I'm making is air fryer hot dogs. Now, one of you suggested this, so I thought I'd give it a try. And I like it more than over the fire. It's delicious. So all you need for this one is hot dogs, hot dog buns, and I'm adding some cheese to mine. Okay, so first I want to brown up my buns because I like them like that. Okay, so you're just gonna open up your buns and put them just right in the base of your air fryer. Then this is where I like to add the cheese. Then you're just gonna place this in. Okay, so we're gonna cook it at 390 for only two minutes, because we just want them a little crusty. Okay, buns are done. Those are looking so good. Okay, we're just gonna set these out so we can cook our hot dogs. Okay, now it's the hot dog time. I'm just gonna stick these all in because my kids will eat them all. And my husband, and okay, me too. All right, then we're gonna stick these in. Cook them for 390 and then we are going down to just three minutes. Let's check out these hot dogs. 
Oh, those look much better. All right. Then you just add all your favorite toppings. We're just going basic today with some ketchup and mustard. <laughs> hey guys, hot dog time. <laughs> the next recipe I'm making is roasted broccoli. Now this is just not your ordinary broccoli. This is bacon cheesy broccoli, which is one of my favorites. So for this recipe is you need a pre-cooked bacon. We already cooked it, so we're gonna use it in this recipe. A little bit of cheese, some broccoli. I like to use garlic salt and a little bit of olive oil. Okay, so we're just gonna put the broccoli in a bowl right now and add our olive oil. You just wanna get the olive oil all around the broccoli because we don't want it to burn. This will help it not burn so bad. Then I'm just gonna add some garlic salt because it's my favorite with roasted broccoli. Go ahead and mix that all together. Now I'm just gonna add my cheese. So I have about a half cup of cheese here and then about three pieces of bacon. Now we're almost ready to cook it. All right, let's put it in. Okay, so whether you have an air fryer lid or a normal air fryer, it's the same time and temperature. So we're gonna use the air fryer lid right now. So I'm gonna put in the little basket that comes with the air fryer lid, and then I'm gonna just dump in my broccoli mixture. Make sure I want my cheese on the top. And you're just gonna spread it around a little bit. Okay, go ahead and put on your lid. We're gonna air fry, we're gonna go to 400 degrees, and then we wanna cook it for about five minutes. Okay, let's check on this broccoli. All right, let's pull this out. Oh, it's looking and smelling so good. Okay, time for the taste test. Mm. That, that's good broccoli. All right, so for the steak bits, we're going to meet steak cut up into bite-sized pieces. Then we have minced garlic, salt and pepper, Italian seasoning, and some olive oil. Okay, so I threw the meat in there just to make life easier. Then we're gonna add two tablespoons of olive oil, about a half teaspoon of salt, about a fourth teaspoon of pepper, and then one teaspoon of Italian seasoning. Then we have about three or so cloves of minced garlic. Then we're just gonna mix that all together. Okay, and we're just gonna pour this right into the bottom of the air fryer. Spread it out so it's, it's a single layer. Then we're just gonna put this in. We're gonna push the steak button. So that makes it 400 degrees for six minutes. Let's try it out. Okay, so we're gonna check the inside here. I'm guessing we still have a little ways to go. We want it to be about 145, so we're gonna just do these for a little bit longer, mix them around a little bit. Let's cook these for another three minutes or so, and we'll go from there. Okay, while that's finishing up, we're gonna make some yummy butter. So I have a fourth cup, a fourth of a cup of melted butter ready to go here. Then we have a half teaspoon of thyme, half teaspoon of rosemary, and then a whole teaspoon of parsley. And we're just gonna mix that up. All right, set this aside and we'll check on the steak. Okay, this is all done. Let's give this a check. We'll do this, dude. Perfect, that's looking great. Okay, let's dump these out and add the butter. All right, then I'm just gonna dump on my butter and seasoning. Let's mix this all up. Well, obviously my dog wants some too, but time for sample. <laughs> there we go. Much better, much better steak. <laughs> the last recipe I'm making is homemade air fryer s'mores. Now, if you don't have a campfire, you don't wanna turn on the hot stove, this is the perfect way to cook a s'more. So all you need for this is some little Hershey's chocolates, marshmallows, and graham crackers. So first you just wanna take your marshmallows and put them right on top of the graham crackers. Then these are gonna go in the air fryer. All right, just placing them very carefully. You don't want the marshmallows to fall. Okay, we're ready. Let's stick this in. Okay, so our temperature, we're going to go to 390. 
And then our time, we're gonna go to five minutes. I like them a little golden brown, so that's why we're doing five. Okay, let's check these. Holy! <laughs> I don't even know where to, to begin. Oh my word. Okay, well that didn't work out as well as I would planned. Change of plans, we're trying it for two minutes. I couldn't remember how long I had done it before, so two minutes this time. All right, let's see how it goes. Oh, it's hilarious, they like wiggle, but those look so much better. It's funny, I made them in my air fryer lid, they didn't move like this, so we're just gonna gently roll them back on. There we go, okay, we're still counting it as a win. So now I'm just gonna put the chocolate right on the marshmallow. We're just gonna let it sit there a little bit and it will melt. All right. That is gooey. And you just have to put the tops on, that's the most important part. It's a good looking s'more. Hey guys, taste test. We already know this is gonna be good, but I'll just taste it anyway. <laughs> Yep, it's good. <laughs> now if you want more air fryer recipes, I have some amazing ones right up there just for you. All right guys, see you later.